Welcome to Awards Day. On this very special day, we have the privilege of celebrating those who make this such a special place. Our amazing students and employees who go the extra mile to make a difference in people's lives every single day. If you received a nomination, you should be extraordinarily proud. It means that a member of the CLC community saw in you caring, connection, and the willingness to make a difference each and every day. It in itself is a tremendous testament. I also know that our awards day committee had a very difficult time making their decisions. They always look to the Central Lakes College values of excellence, inclusion, innovation, and community, and ask the question, who is helping us to truly make a difference? So thank you to the awards day committee. Congratulations to everyone who has been nominated Today is a celebration of you. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Eric Kepner and I'm the Director of Student Life at Central Lakes College. Thank you for tuning in to help us recognize and celebrate a few of the amazing students that make CLC such an exceptional place to learn and to work. While we're not able to give awards to all those who were nominated, we certainly realize that CLC would not be the same without them. Our first category is Staples Campus Student Employee of the Year. Here are our nominees. Curtis Jelinski, Sarah Cobb, and Brittany Lisson. Without fail, student employees become some of the most well-known and appreciated students on campus. They fill integral roles that keep our campuses thriving and provide needed assistance to our faculty and staff. This year's winner is no slouch, both at work and in the classroom. Her nominator describes her as an excellent student and is the type of worker who makes you believe that she could succeed in any industry. She has demonstrated her ability to prioritize work requests and complete work as requested in a manner that displays her dedication to accuracy and follow through. She works with minimal direction and if she's unsure of her requests, she asks for clarification to make sure she understands the directions. She frequently works at career fairs and has even represented her program on her own when her instructor was unable to due to teaching commitments. This year's recipient has excellent communication skills and is very respectful. Our students are routinely balancing numerous obligations and this student is no exception. She's employed at Essentia Health, has a young daughter, as well as family members that she is responsible for their care. Without further ado, the well-earned title of Staples Campus Student Employee of the Year goes to Sarah Cobb. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Student Employee of the Year. Katie Haley, Dylan Christensen, Malik Kelly, and Paige Wallavand. Have you tried turning it off and on again? From laptops to tablets to printers, this year's Student Worker of the Year has dedicated herself to helping students and staff with their technology needs. To quote one of her three nomination letters, she has been a fantastic worker always dependable, willing to learn, and willing to take on any task. We know that when we ask her to help, the job will get done right. Her work ethic has been noted by others as well. She has been spotted coming in on her scheduled days off, helping on both the Staples and Brader campuses, and always getting along with everyone she meets. Congratulations to Katie Haley, and thank you for your past two years of service in the Computer Commons and IT department. Now, we're going to do something a bit unconventional. We received another nomination that also deserves recognition. For the first time in recent history, the awards committee has selected two students to receive this award. The second recipient is an all-star on and off the court. While balancing schoolwork, she has also been a teammate on the volleyball and basketball team, served as a manager for the baseball team, and been a student worker for the foundation. Her volleyball coach sung her praises when she said, she is among the top student athletes I've come into contact with in the past 29 years on this campus. Not just her skills or her intellect, but her conviction of character and her reliable optimism. She also set the bar for fellow student workers with her supervisor at the foundation saying, send me another work study like Paige. Congratulations to Paige Wallaband and thank you for being a great example of what it means to be a Raider.
Here are the nominees for the Staples Campus Faculty of the Year Award. Nick Heiser, Sarah Jennison, Nate Peterson, Kate Porter, and Brandon Schneider. Welcome CLC students, faculty and staff. My name is Dale Davis. I'm the Vice President of Staples Campus Student Center. I hope everybody is well and staying healthy and, and staying positive. Today, we are here to honor and to give recognition to all those that were nominated for Faculty of the Year. It was no easy task to choose one person for this award. You guys are all great candidates. And it was fun and very interesting to read all the great things that the students have wrote about you. It was a pleasure. This year's recipient of this award was chosen from a panel of students that reviewed each nominee. Some of these things that were said about the person included. Easy to approach. Always had a great attitude. Willing to work with you even if it wasn't the class they teach. Although this person, this person has not been an instructor very long. He has, he is a great asset to the college and to the West Campus Heavy Equipment Program. This year's Faculty of the Year Award goes to Brandon Schneider. Thank you, Brandon, for all the things that you've done for West Campus and all the lives you change. And I just have to say it was a, a pleasure to be one of your students and an honor. So congratulations, Brandon, on a job well done. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Faculty of the Year. Deanna Bobzeen, Cynthia Diancis, Christina Enert, Nick Heiser, Jeff Johnson, Rob Kalaji, Brandy Lindquist, Adam Marcott, Dave Otto, Kirby Scott, and Steve Wenzel. Hello, my name is Shayla Makowski Boudreau, and I'm the Student Senate President here on Brainerd Campus. Anyone can spew out knowledge to others, but taking the time to create a curriculum that students feel constantly engaged and enjoy coming to class, now that's a talent. But doing the same thing in our new online format, that is for the elite. This faculty member reached out and worked the students' success in and out of the classroom, but also worked to touch the heart and the minds of the students outside the classroom as well. They put students first in and out of the classroom and showed compassion, but most importantly, they inspired. This faculty member is more than deserving of this award. Congratulations to the 2020 Faculty of the Year, Brandy Lindquist. Here are the nominees for Staples Campus Staff of the Year. Diane Breitling, JJ Larson, Angie Musso, Derek Peterson, Peggy Thorne, and Ryan Wright. There is always someone in the background and behind the scenes that keeps everyone else going. Some of the work we do in our labs gets us pretty messy and we carry that mess all around campus with us especially now in a time when sanitation and cleanliness has reached a height of importance, there has been an increased effort to keep our campuses clean and healthy. Keeping campus open for students to do labs and utilize resources has been vital throughout these times and an increased effort has been made by our custodial team to keep everyone on our campus healthy and safe. Though he has not been a part of the Staples campus team for long, we are glad that he joined when he did. He is always willing to help a student whenever necessary, asks questions he doesn't know the answer to, and takes great care of our campus. He is a very welcoming and friendly face to have around, and we consider ourselves lucky to have him. Congratulations to our Staples Campus Staff Member of the Year, Derek Peterson.
Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Staff of the Year. Sue Bowman, Becky Davis, Darren Flansberg, Teresa Leducer, Nick O'Reilly, and Barb Billwalk. There are many amazing candidates this year for Staff Member of the Year, but one stood out. They had phenomenal recommendations and really blew us away with their dedication to CLC and us students. One of their nomination letters we read was from a student where English was their second language. She sometimes would have trouble keeping up with and understanding their class content. This year, the staff member took the time out of their busy schedule and helped the student before and after class to grasp the learning. No matter what, the staff member was caring for others, volunteering their time, and making sure everything was on fleek. They excelled in the qualities of a staff member of the year. So congratulations to the 2020 staff member of the year, Terry Leducer. Here are your nominees for Staples Campus Female Student of the Year. Roxanne Hammermeister, Larissa Jones, and Emma Eberhard. Hi, I'm Don Burdon, and I'm the instructor for the Medical Assistant Program at Staples. And it is with great pleasure that I um, am awarding uh, this next award for the Staples Campus Female Student of the Year. I first met this student when she came to the program uh, on a visit with her sister who was considering coming into the program. Instead, she is the one who ended up enrolling in our program last fall. She has shown tremendous, tremendous growth in her leadership qualities, professionalism, and participation throughout the year in the program. The student has been a very active member of the Staples Student Senate. She's president of the Medical Assistant and Phlebotomy Scrub Club. She attends every meeting and keeps us posted on the activities that Student Senate is doing. She has assisted me with career fairs at school. The student has excelled in her academics she is very organized, dependable, and conscientious in everything she does. She's always respectful and polite to not only her peers, but staff and faculty at the college. She is helpful to others, offering assistance to all. She comes to class prepared and asks questions if she needs further understanding. And with the team mindset that she has demonstrated throughout the year working with others. This will be a great benefit to her as she goes out into any healthcare facility where she might be employed. She is a work-study student in the Learning Commons and assists her peers with peer tutoring as needed. She has managed all of this while attending school full-time, being a parent, and displays a positive attitude in all that she does. Without further ado, it is my great pleasure to award this, present this award to Larissa Jones. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Female Freshman of the Year. Amy DePauli, Megan Hamilton, Kylie McGee, Raisha Merdant, Wong Net On Fam, Desiree Rhodes. Hello everyone, I just wanted to take a second to introduce myself um, since I'm fairly new to Central Lakes College and a lot of you are probably like, who is that and why is she talking? So my name is Brianna Rakuski. I'm a TRIO SSS advisor at Central Lakes College, and today I'm honored to be able to present the Female Freshman of the Year Award. 
This award goes to someone that I've had the privilege to work with over the past year. And over the past year, she's um, shared with me some of her transitions and it's someone I really admire. So this person has only been in the United States for two years and has just been in Minnesota for a little, close to a year now. And so she's had two really huge transitions, but despite these transitions, she's been super involved and engaged on campus. So this person's involved in TRIO SSS, of course, Raider Connect Services. She's part of Student Senate. Um, she's a student worker for the Science Department and also is club president for the Chess Club, which has just been created this year through her initiative. For all of these reasons, I am honored to be able to present the Female Freshman of the Year Award to Huang Nhat An Pham. Most of you probably know her as Anne. Um, I'm extremely proud to be able to present this to her and I'm extremely excited to be able to work with her one whole more year. Um, I can't wait to see where she goes. Thank you. Here are your nominees for Staples Campus Male Student of the Year. Brennan Hart, Dale Davis, and Corey Israelison. As an instructor here at Central Lakes College, um, one of the things that, that I always say is we teach students a trade and we also teach them how to good, be good employees. And one of the things that I always recognize in a student is somebody that goes above and beyond, um, doing the extra things. Like I don't care if it's walking across the parking lot, picking up a, a piece of garbage that's laying there on the ground. Um, I want to introduce uh, introduce the the student sophomore male sophomore of the year award, and it's one of the things that I heard. I didn't see it, but I heard this student was doing it one day was picking up garbage in front of main campus because he was, it was something that it was just something that he should do. You know, um, this student takes a lot of pride here at CLC. He's been very active in student senate. And as an instructor, I feel he should be recognized for that. So I want to introduce Dale Davis as Student Sophomore of the Year. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Male Freshman of the Year. Tristan Davis, Gavin Olson, Jacob Olson, Vincent Reed, Ben Schlegel, and Tyler Vandekoo. Hi, my name is Alita Requi peterson I teach psychology at Central Lakes College, and I also advise the Psychology Club. Today, I have the honor of announcing the Male Freshman of the Year Award. Uh, this award goes to a male student who is in his first year um, at CLC and who has also shown superior service to campus. The student also is um, shows promise of being a future leader as well. Um, the student that has received this award uh, definitely fills both of those categories. This student is a peer tutor um, with the library services. This student is a pro or a peer reaching out with the counseling service. And this student is an active member in the psychology club and has made a noticeable difference in terms of both club participation on campus um, and branching out to try different things. Um, a few of the reasons why I nominated this student go beyond that. Um, this student um, is naturally very outgoing, uh, very inclusive, and um, just passionate about topics and issues like um, social equality, uh, social justice, uh, race, and equity. Um, and so I've seen this student both in and out of the classroom um, advocate for those topics and also you know, really bring students in and um, encourage them to get involved. Um, and a couple of specific examples, you know, in positive psychology, students need to volunteer for a nonprofit for five hours. And, um, you know, the student uh, enlisted four other students to join him at Camp Confidence um, the day they were um, working and celebrating students with disabilities. Um, and without his you know, advocacy and um, passion for that, uh, that the students probably wouldn't have chosen that site. Um, and so he really, again, just showed some leadership in class um, and getting other students to try and branch out and do something different. 
um, in Psychology Club. You know, he got students to try for the very first time Club Olympics. Uh, Psych Club uh, had some issues <laughs> uh, staying in till the end, but um, it was something that he really rallied around and um, got them to try. Uh, and so, you know, I really think, again, leadership and, um, you know, just enthusiasm for, for the campus and um, involvement. Uh, lastly, the student, um, again, he's um, also branched out into the community and has been involved in trying to um, be a peer mentor for, for kids who are in foster care. Um, and this is something he's very passionate about. Uh, so for all of those reasons, I am very happy to announce that Vincent Reed has um, been awarded the Male Freshman of the Year. And um, this is a very well-deserved honor. And uh, I just say congratulations to you. Thanks. Here are your nominees for Staples Campus Student of the Year. Dale Davis, Ethan Helley, Larissa Jones, and Abby Klein. Hello, my name is Nate Peterson. I am an instructor in the Robotics Automated Systems Technology program here at Central Lakes College. Today I have the honor of announcing the Outstanding Student of the Year Award. This award is our highest honor for CLC students and is presented to the student who best amplifies strong leadership skills and is dedicated to both academic and extracurricular activities. This student has made outstanding contributions to campus-wide programs, community programs, and has displayed positive leadership capabilities inside and outside of the classroom. The student shares her passion by teaching classes at public libraries and mentoring high school student robotic clubs. She has served our robotics program as president of the robotics club and the Staples campus as president of the student senate. She has served our college by serving on various committees and meeting with college leadership. She has implemented programs such as the instructor experience lecture, which I hope we continue after she graduates. During this time of COVID-19, this student is teaming up with a hospital and building small robots to deliver meals and other things to patients without having direct contact with them. She does these things while successfully completing her internship at a robotics company in Shoreview, Minnesota, who provides automation for the nuclear and aerospace industries. Please join me in congratulating Abby Klein as the Outstanding Student of the Year. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Female Sophomore of the Year. Shayla Makowski boudreau Vicki Foss, Elise Jensen, Katie Milkey, and Jennifer Pace. I am honored to be presenting the Female Sophomore of the Year. This student has been instrumental in the positivity and success of classes at Central Lakes College. College. She has been leading by example. She has been assisting with tutoring. She has led other study groups and has been very supportive of her peers. She has also been very professional always with faculty um, and assisted with collaboration of many efforts for student success um, over the last couple semesters. She has also um, activated or reactivated the nursing club to have a, the most college-wide involvement that we've had ever since I've been um, assisting with the club. She um, assisted with the Club Olympics and got everybody involved and was excited and passionate about having some fun and interacting outside of the classroom. She gives of herself, her time, her energy. Again, she is very caring and deeply compassionate to others and really has a special way of interacting with all people. Um, I believe she has truly bonded, helped to bond her uh, cohort of students that will be graduating this May of 2020 um, in a very special way. She has been inviting and inclusive of all nursing students, not just those that have been in her graduating class, but those from other prior semesters. She has invited them to get involved as well as helped with tutoring and helping study with students of semesters prior. 
She has, again, been, went above and beyond in all she does and just her personality alone and her interaction and communication and leadership skills is absolutely amazing. And that's why I am proud to announce Katie Milkey to be Female Sophomore of the Year for Central Lakes College Spring 2020. Congratulations, Katie. Here are your nominees for the Staples Campus Perseverance Award, Vincent Harrington and Heidi Tannum. This award that, uh, that I'm going to be handing out here is a Perseverance Award. And again, as an instructor in our heavy equipment program, you know, when I stand there and I'm looking at 20 students and there's always, you always look at students and you see leaders and you see followers. And one student that really stood out to me was his mentorship that he did for his classmates. Um, we had a young man in that group that really struggled in math and surveying. And this individual took him underneath his wing and mentored him. Helped him with his homework, um, explained things to him. I would see this young man sitting in the classroom with this student after hours going through his homework with him, making sure that he understood what they were talking about for the next day. Um, this is an individual that I see someday as a leader. Um, will make an excellent employee, and I want to introduce to you Vincent Harrington for a Perseverance Award. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Male Sophomore of the Year. Lionel Gates, Joe Logalin, Jason Solberg, and Logan Stearns. Buju Anin, I'm Mary Sam. I'm the Dean of Students, Equity and Inclusion at Central Lakes College. This award honors a male student who has demonstrated active involvement both on campus and in the community during his second year of college. All nominees must have completed at least two semesters by the time the nomination was received. This award is being presented to Joe Loughlin. Joe's wonderful personality and good humor is going to be missed by many people here at Central Lakes College. He attended CLC right out of high school and his own, in, in his own words said, I didn't take it seriously. A dozen years later, Joe returned and has been on fire ever since. He will be graduating with his Associates of Arts degree and will have his honors designation. Joe has spent countless hours studying and working with his peers to be successful. Joe has taken many of the honors courses and has raised his GPA almost two points. Nice work, Joe, way to go. Joe is much more, though, than just a good student at Central Lakes College with a high GPA. He's active, again, on campus and in the community. His ability to dig deep into research and present the material has been great for our college. It's benefited our college. Joe has volunteered to speak at the Central Lakes College Night Out fundraiser, and by the way, did a wonderful job. Presented at the annual Honors Awards ga gathering, helped at several honors events, and has been named the TRIO SSS student. Again, he has demonstrated leadership both on and off campus. On the home front, Joe is a non-traditional student with several active daughters, including a toddler. He's coached hockey and is busy most weekends driving his girls to games and practices. Joe's friendly smile and willingness to help when asked will be greatly missed at Central Lakes College, and I know he'll be missed greatly in the TRIO lab. Congratulations, Joe, and best wishes as you transfer to UND and earn a degree in computer engineering. Here are your nominees for Brainerd Campus Student of the Year. Nicholas Lanham, Leon Little, Joe Logalin, Jessica Otto, Patricia Samuelson, Jaden Wendt, and Shayla Makowski Boudreaux. I'm honored to be able to announce this year's Brainerd Campus Student of the Year. Your 2020 Brainerd Campus Student of the Year has clearly established herself as a top student and her contributions to classes have not gone unnoticed. Not only is this year's winner a top student academically,
but she's also an outstanding person with a positive attitude and always has a smile on her face. This year's winner is always kind to her peers, as well as to staff and faculty at the college. She's always willing to go above and beyond to help anyone in need. She comes to any event or task prepared and is a joy to have in any group. The student of the year volunteers to help students who need extra help and is always game for a new experience. This year's recipient is also an active member of multiple student clubs and an inductee into the very prestigious 2019 National Honor Society in her field of study. Please help me in congratulating your 2020 Brainerd Campus Student of the Year, Jaden Went. Here are your nominees for the Brainerd Campus Perseverance Award. Callie Holmes, Justin Hogue, Dan Moonen, Derek Rigg, and Crystal McCormick. Central Lakes College has a new student award category this year, the Perseverance Award. Perhaps in light of COVID-19, we should be recognizing all graduating students for persevering through the challenges the coronavirus has presented. They certainly deserve it. With the introduction of the criteria for this award, Eric Hepner asked, do you know a student who deserves recognition for the obstacles they have overcome? Or someone whose drive and determination amazes you? This student's name literally screamed in my head. This second year criminal justice student began his work in the security department as his internship. I immediately recognized a quality in him that impressed me. This student is a get it done kind of guy. Some of the characteristics that stand out in his internship performance evaluation were his dependability, his initiative, his motivation, attitude, just to name a few. Although he's only 20 years old, he possesses a remarkable maturity level and an incredible understanding of what it takes to be a good police officer. He goes above and beyond in the security department, helping with scheduling and always willing to volunteer to work shifts that others can't fill. One of the things I truly value about him is when a problem or challenge arises, he is there with helpful suggestions and taking personal ownership to solve the issue. He's always there with a, how can I help you, Sarge? And we've got this. But what really qualifies this student for the Perseverance Award are the obstacles he's overcome in his pursuit of a career in law enforcement. This student moved to the Brainerd Lakes area to attend Central Lakes College. In order to save money and afford his education, he built his own home. He calls it the Tiny Shed. The Tiny Shed is built on a trailer, which was moved onto some family land on South Long Lake. He doesn't have running water, and with minimal heat, the Tiny Shed is not exactly Minnesota friendly. He has endured significant discomfort with his eye on the prize, a criminal justice certificate and a law enforcement career. As you know, the criminal justice skills program requires a physical fitness test, which students are required to pass in order to participate in the skills program. This student suffers from significant asthma, which severely challenges him in the cardiovascular portion of the test. And he didn't pass it his first time in February. Refusing to be beaten, he enlisted the help of a personal trainer and has worked his butt off. And in three short months, he not only passed the PT test, he rocked it. This is just another example of his tenacious drive and determination to reach his goal. To say he amazes me is a complete understatement. I am honored and privileged to present the Brainerd Campus Perseverance Award to Dan Moonen, Big Dan. Here are your nominees for the Central Lakes College Diversity and Inclusion Award. Ashley Berg, Shayla Makowski boudreau Jennifer Pace, and Vincent Reed. This next award is the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Award. 
At Central Lakes College, we're committed to building and creating a supportive campus and community that values growth and development of diverse students and employees. We strive to honor and celebrate diversity. This award recognizes individuals who promote inclusion and strive to become culturally competent. These individuals go over and above their designated roles in the following ways. They seek opportunities to develop and strengthen relationships with persons of different backgrounds. They seek to engage in a wide range of activities promoting diversity, both formally and informally. They seek to create an environment that is free from discrimination and bias. And they seek to facilitate academic or community events that promote inclusion, respect, and acceptance of diversity. The recipient of this year's award has made her presence known on campus and in our community in a positive and friendly manner. This year's recipient was an active leader on the Central Lakes College Powwow Committee, exhibiting her culture and dance style to the public. She delivered an exciting and very personal address to the staff, faculty, and student body during Women's History Month, speaking about her mother, grandmother, and Native women in general, and how it was their work ethic, their perseverance, and their resilience to help and encourage, support her to do what her path of life is meant to be. This person has provided a student voice, pushed all of us to be better and to do better, and to take action around food insecurity with our students. This student embodies the values of our Ojibwe culture and the values of Central Lakes College. It is our distinct honor to present the 2020 Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Award to President of the Student Senate, student Shayla Makowski Boudreau. Miigwech, thank you for your service and contributions to the Central Lakes College community. Here are your nominees for the Staples Campus Club of the Year. The Diesel Club, Medical Assistance Club, Nursing Club, and Robotics Club. Student-run clubs on community college campuses can have a tough time gaining traction and accomplishing goals because of the narrow window of time they have together. Not surprisingly though, this year's top club came together quickly and enjoyed a successful year. Their ability to be in the mix for this award each and every year speaks to their leadership and their tradition of excellence. This year's winning club was guided by the seasoned members of the second year student cohort while energized by the youthful antics of the first year students. They fundraised, participated in service activities, enhanced their learning with field trips, and finished first in the Club Olympics cardboard boat race event. They are deserving of this award, and we can't wait to see what they'll do next. Congratulations to the Robotics Club this year's Staples Campus Club of the Year. Here are your nominees for the Brainerd Campus Club of the Year. ASL Club, Bent Pine, Campus Bible Fellowship, Horticulture Club, Psychology Club, The Rainbow Coalition, and Right Brain Graphics Club. Last year was the first time in a while that this year's winning group was not able to get organized and chartered as a club, and their absence was noticed on campus. Thankfully, they came back with a vengeance this year and really asserted themselves both on and off campus. While not many know it, this club plots in secret in their East Campus layer on ways in which they can promote their program of study to their surrounding communities. While the majority of their club members prefer to hide behind their computer screens rather than deal with other humans, they do make their way out of their den several times a semester to conduct valuable club activities. When they do emerge, it's always a sight to behold as they go big with their club events. For instance, they host the Fall Festival, CLC Holiday Party, and new this year they added a craft fair. Each of their club activities is open to the public. It is not unusual for them to attract four to 500 people to their events. They owe their success to strong club leadership and their determination to serve others. The Brainerd Campus Club of the Year Award goes to the Right Brain Graphics Club. Here are your nominees for the Staples Campus Club Advisor of the Year. Jeff Clare, Robbie Lang, and Don Verdon. The winner of this year's award can be described as someone with a quiet confidence and a mischievous smile. He takes an active role in advising his club and his club members are consistently the most active students on campus. 
The annual Club Olympics is always a great proving ground for not only club camaraderie, but also showcases how well a club is managed. While this advisor's club did not take the gold this year, they're always a group that brings joy to others and displays a lot of character with their excellent sportsmanship. A club is only as good as its leadership, and for that reason, the 2020 Staples Campus Club of the Year award goes to Robbie Lang. Here are the nominees for Brainerd Campus Club Advisor of the Year. Leon Dalvang, Jill Lechner, Brandy Lindquist, Tanya Hoding Morazic, Brianna Rajakowski, Kevin Latou, and Terry Wozniewski. While this club advisor has not been in a role for long, she has made a profound impact on her club. Up until her stepping in as the advisor, the AD Nursing Club always struggled to attract club members from sections other than the fourth semester nursing students. While the fourth semester club members were rock stars, the club was continually having to rebuild each academic year. Under this advisor's guidance, they were able to include club members from all sections of their program, and now their club has a more sustainable model. This year's recipient was also a catalyst in helping lead her club to their first appearance in Club Olympics, an event in which they took first overall and were a joy to watch at each competition. This year's winner is there with her club every step of the way, and I could not be more proud to award the 2020 Brainerd Campus Club Advisor of the Year Award to Jill Lechner. Here are your nominees for the Staples Campus Student Senator of the Year. Brennan Hart, all of the heavy equipment and fast track students, Corey Israelson, and Josiah Krutzfeld. The Staples Student Senate has enjoyed another successful year. That being said, with many campus academic programs being one year in length, it can be difficult for student leaders to emerge in such a short window of time. Nevertheless, without fail, someone always seems to rise to the occasion and find ways to make our campus just a little bit better year after year. This year, a young upstart grabbed the bull by the horns and took it upon himself to make sure that students had a variety of programming after classes. He started a weekly game night, and though it sometimes struggled with participant numbers, it was a weekly event that helped build community on campus. He displayed an unequaled allegiance to Student Senate and was an active participant in our weekly meetings. We are looking forward to his continued growth as a student leader and want to commend him for his efforts with the Staples Campus Student Center of the Year Award. Congratulations to Brennan Hart. Here are your nominees for the Brainerd Campus Student Senator of the Year. Deanne Caddy, Wong Net On Pham, Noah Pappenfuss, Desiree Rhodes, Lexi Roberts, Ben Schlegel, Anaya Sira, Jaden Wendt, and Nolan Zumhoff. Without fail, each year the Student Senate always has its share of humorous characters. They make off-the-wall motions, interrupt intense debate with a witty comment, and provide creative weekly club reports, which without a doubt was this year's recipient's specialty. Frequently, this type of senator prefers only to get the laughs and does not care to make headway on issues that are important to students. Luckily for those of us in the Brainerd Student Senate, we not only had a senator that helped keep things light, but when needed, he was there to be the first to lend a helping hand. The Brainerd Senate has enjoyed their most successful year in recent memory, and it's senators like him that are to thank for that success. Congratulations to Nolan Zumhoff, who is this year's Brainerd Campus Senator of the Year. Here are your nominees for the Staples Campus Senate Officer of the Year. Dale Davis, Wade Hoffus, Curtis Chelinski, Larissa Jones, and Abby Klein. This year's winner is no stranger to this award as he has won this award in the past. While we try to spread the acknowledgement around as much as possible, sometimes you just can't get around the contributions made by one member. This year's winner has displayed a selfless commitment to his fellow students and has helped lead the Senate through these last couple of weeks, which have tested us all. He embodies service above self and has become a great role model for all CLC students. 
Congratulations to Dale Davis, who is the 2020 Staples Campus Senate Officer of the Year. Here are your nominees for the Brainerd Campus Senate Officer of the Year. Shayla Makowski boudreau Scott Crosswhite, Parker Klein, Allie Klomp, and Ashley Linars. Every once in a while you can catch lightning in a bottle, and that's exactly what the Brainerd student body did last spring when they elected this student leader as their next student senate president. This year's winner has electrified not only the student senate, but the Brainerd campus with her leadership and unceasing desire to be the best. As our first ever PSEO student senate president, she has further opened the door to show the immense value of the post-secondary enrolled student. She's helped lead her senate down the path towards being inclusionary of all students and views. Her ability to work well with her fellow officers has been remarkable, as she is ambitious, but she has not let that ambition get in the way of building a cohesive team. While some student senate years are marred by bickering and infighting, she has helped keep her senate's eye on the prize. That goal was realized this past week as the Brainerd Student Senate was named the Lita Men's Student Senate of the Year. This is the first time that a CLC Student Senate has won this award, and trust me, we've had some phenomenal groups in the past. When a team wins a championship, you hand the trophy to the team captain first as an acknowledgement for the ways in which they have helped lead the team to victory. Shayla, you are the captain of the Brainerd Student Senate, and we are very proud of you. Congratulations to Shayla Mikowski boudreau for earning the Brainerd Student Senate Officer of the Year Award. Hi, this is Jana Shogren from the Central Lakes College Foundation. I'm here today to honor a few students for some outstanding accomplishments with some scholarship awards. The first one is the Paul C. Findorf Scholarship. Paul was a business instructor and his life was sadly cut far too short after a battle with cancer. Paul died at the young age of 39 years old. His family honored him not only with the scholarship funds, but also with the funds to build and to update the Findorf Athletic Complex across the street from campus. Today, we're here to honor Jenny with this award. Jenny's faculty member had this to say about her. Jenny is a student with grit and determination. She knows what it is going to take to be successful and never gives up. Jenny has worked on her degree while caring for her family, including her aging in-laws. She's been wildly successful and is on track to graduate with high honors in May of 2021. Congratulations, Jenny, on earning the Paul C. Findorf Scholarship. Next is the Don Wilkins Memorial Scholarship. Passionate about lifelong learning, Don Wilkins enrolled as a non-traditional student at CLC after his retirement. He commuted to CLC two to three times per week from Park Rapids, Minnesota to take computer classes. He also tutored chemistry students here at CLC. Sadly, Don passed away in 2014 at the age of 87 years young. His son, Mike, established the Don H. Wilkins Memorial Scholarship Fund to be awarded to outstanding computer technology students with at least one student being a non-traditional student to honor his father's lifelong learning spirit. Mike appreciates what a special place CLC was for his father. This year, I'm thrilled to announce we have three winners of this award, Shelly Hoskins, Eric Woods, and Kathleen Hinch. Shelly is a non-traditional student who, similar to Don Wilkins, seeks never-ending learning opportunities. She has a 4.0 GPA and is looking forward to transitioning back into the workforce in a new career after she graduates. Eric is back at CLC nine years after he first started here as a 19 year old. He shares that his first go round in college didn't go so well, but after living and learning for a few years, he is back and more motivated than ever. He comes highly recommended from his faculty members. Kathleen is also a non-traditional student and was thrilled when she learned she had been offered this award. She says that being on a fixed income, this scholarship will make a huge difference for her. This takes her one step closer to earning her degree. Congratulations, you three. Congratulations to our award recipients today and to all of our scholarship recipients over this last academic year. 
I'd also like to take a moment to thank all of our donors who have made it possible for our foundation to award nearly $7 million in scholarships over the past 51 years. Without the generosity of our community, our robust scholarship program would not be possible. I realize this is a bit of an odd year for all of us, but I encourage you all to finish strong and to stay strong. We are all in this together. Hi, this is Julie Jo Larson from TRIO Student Support Services at Central Lakes College. TRIO is a federally funded program that helps first generation, low income, and students with documented disabilities earn their AAs and travel on to their four year college. I'll be presenting two awards today. The first award is a scholarship which was created in honor of a past student who passed away last April. The Theodore Prescott Erickson Scholarship has been funded by several people including Theo's family and friends and myself. The first Theodore Prescott Erickson Scholarship is being presented to Christina Botella. Congratulations Christina and your certificate will be in the mail tomorrow. The second award that I'm presenting today is the Time Honored Trio Student of the Year. This year's Trio Student of the Year is Sarah Schultz. Sarah will be graduating this year and transferring to St. Cloud State University. But I wanted to thank Sarah for her many students she brought in and also to um, all of the work she's done in our lab, helping other students navigate their way. Congratulations, Christina and Sarah. And like I said, your awards will be in the mail. Thank you. As you watch that award ceremony, I know you were thinking what I was, and that is that we have extraordinary people here at Central Lakes College. Congratulations to all the nominees and awardees. You make a tremendous difference each and every day. To all of our students who are ending up your semester, please know that we are here for you, we are here to support you, and we know you can do it. Also know that we cannot wait to celebrate your accomplishment at the virtual commencement, which will happen in just about a week. Congratulations again, and remember that together we are CLC strong.